Hello everyone, I am Hunter from DAT Studios, and welcome to Far Harbor. And the reason I'm recording this is because, if you looked at our channel recently, I posted a review of this DLC, and I did a bit of a mess up, like... When I was reviewing it, like, the last thing I criticized was the fact that you couldn't go to a, uh, vault that was here. But turns out, like, someone commented saying, you can get in the vault, it's just, it's activated by a quest or something? I don't know, like, but I looked up where you're supposed to go in it, so, where is it? Ah, there it is. So, hopefully it'll still let me in. Maybe the quest will activate when I get down there. I looked at a walkthrough on how to get there, and I can see how I missed it. The area that it was in looks a lot like it, a, another area, so I probably just mixed it up with another when I was exploring it and just walked right past it. Plus, it, you have to access as an elevator to get to it, so... I probably just thought it'd probably take me to the top level or something. But I'm still very happy that you're actually able to go and explore the vault. I was very disappointed when I thought I couldn't. Kind of puts that 20 minutes I spent trying to find it in vain though, but I don't care. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm not going to make this... I've already done basically everything in this DLC and in the main game, so... I'm not going to make this a series, at least not yet. I do want to play Far Fallout 4 eventually, but not until I beat either Inquisition or Dark Souls 2, so... If you want to see me play some Fallout, you'd have to wait till then. And by then, I'll probably be starting with a brand new character. That, not that any of you would be complaining. You'd probably prefer I start with a new character so there's actually stuff to watch other than me just kill a bunch of bandits and super mutants and stuff. Plus, by the time I do finish Inquisition or Dark Souls 2, it'll probably be like time for the next batch of DLC. And I, uh, I heard, uh, from the, uh, I watched the, I found a thing on YouTube that, of a little possible thing that a guy found where he found these little, like, DLC packs that were, well, not DLC, but, well, kind of, but these little data packs that were put in the game after Far Harbor was installed, and they're called Nuka World. Workshop 02 and Workshop 03. So, oh, he thinks these are possibly the next batch of DLC. Let's see, where was it that I was supposed to go? This is the right hotel, right? I think it is. I think there are two in this game, so I might have fast traveled to the wrong one. I'm trying to see, where is the vault? Just so I know I'm here, like at the right place. Pretty sure I am. Ah, I'm stuck on that. <coughs> eh, that didn't hurt. So here, no, it's a pool. An empty pool. Hold on, I'm looking at the walkthrough again to make sure I am here. Doesn't look like the right hotel. Where is there another hotel that I missed? Or I know, like I've been to it. I just can't remember if this is the hotel. Let's see, hotel, hotel. No. This is the only hotel I can find. So I guess this is it. Guess I'm just looking at it the wrong way. Disgusting. You should be happy that I'm not equipped with a vomiting subroutine. Let's 
see. Wait. No, I am at the wrong one. I am. The Edge Hotel. Oh, I missed it. Let's see. Yep, right here. So that was a little useless backtrack. I thought hotel, and I thought the fan- well, the fanciest hotel that I knew, and it was the wrong one. Ah, uh, yeah, the Rust Devils. They really didn't play as much a part in the game as I- well, that DLC as, like, this thing keeps reminding me, like, every time I'm at a loading screen, like, half of the time, it's this. I rarely ever see the Rust Devils, except occasionally when I'm just out traveling, and usually I can just kill them, like, in, like, five seconds. Alright, so here's the vault. Now I just gotta go in and find the elevator. that stair. I apologize like if I'm being quiet or might I sound stuffy, I'm sick right now. Looks like Siri got oh <laughs> there we go. Wonder where that ghoul came from. I thought I got them all. Maybe it was in a room I missed. Alright, so then I think I'm supposed to go down here. Oh, and I think I might have messed up. Yeah, I think I messed up. Oh, this might take a while. I apologize. Let's see. What did that dude do when he got there? I'm trying to. This doesn't look right. Another ghoul. Well, I'm assuming it's a ghoul. God, I am very inaccurate. Let's see. He went down a second staircase. Where is that staircase? Why did there only be a occasional ghoul? When I went here the first time, there was one in the place. If it respawned them, shouldn't it be crawling with ghouls all over again? I don't think I missed them. I, I could have. Yep, I'm on the right track. Alright, but I, I'm supposed to go down some stairs here. Uh, and it just... Yep. And that go. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, thank God. thought my game froze. Room. Oh, it looks like I never even explored right here. I went right past this area, I think. Or not, that room didn't really have that much, so... Eh. Oh, no, if, if, if I had been here, I definitely would have picked this lock. Got it. Get out of the way, Siri. Let's see, anything interesting here? Used oil can, always can use more oil. Let's see, anything interesting in here? Doesn't look it. 
Alright, we continue onwards. I'm very interested for this vault. I want to see what's it about. That ah, laser turret. How would there be laser turrets in a hotel? I get that it was probably owned by, well, not owned, but in partnership with Vault Tech, like at least for building the vault, but laser turrets, really? How much damage? I've only been shot at once? This little laser thing was supposed to improve my accuracy, and it was the only one I didn't hate. Ooh, what's down this way? Nothing. Great. A still working jukebox after all this time. Okay, which one of these did he use? There are two. I think it was this one. Going down. If not, I'll just come Basement. back through and take the other one. Basement. I'm not sure if these things are like supposed Going to be like down. this, but I think they might be a bit broken. It said it arrived at the Ground basement. Yeah, I think this one was the wrong one. Alright. Back in taking Going the other down. one. down here. Little rocky travels. You okay, Siri? Okay. This is taking forever. There we go. Uh, and it's more hotel. Wait, I saw a vault text sign. Looks like this was the, uh... Ooh, cans. Let's see. Oil can. Hmm. Ooh, more oil. And most people have it, troubles with adhesive. For me, it's oil. Yeah, I think they were trying to address the adhesive problem with this game because literally everywhere I go there's like five things of duct tape. Ooh, that's a little fancy. Hmm. Alright, let's see what this hotel, I mean not this hotel, this uh, ball is all about. Outdoor remote access. Greetings! Whoa. Welcome to Vault 118, your home away from home, underground. Are you the detective we sent for? This sounds like a, a Mr. Handy. Why do you need a detective? Well, there's been a suspicious death in the hotel. Are you the detective we sent for? Yes, I'm the detective. Uh, I'm guessing this death probably oil. happened hundreds of years ago. Probably. I doubt this thing's still up and running. Because that really did sound like a Mr. Handy. Yep, looks like a Mr. Handy. Hopefully these things weren't murder bots. Like so many of them were. Still, well, it's this about looks, time the this looks sent nice. someone out to investigate. We have many important residents, and they are very worried. Okay. Up. Oh, ask for money. What, what happened? happened? Who died? It's Mr. Park 
banker, the primary owner and financier for the hotel. This is just a disaster. Okay. Uh, about 118 jumps. There's the cool. crime scene again. Don't they realize that they're going to disturb the evidence? You'd better come with me, Detective. Hmm, this stuff is still all... Alright, I'm excited for this. This is the nicest vault I've ever seen. Even that one that's still up and functional. Yeah, it's all robots. What the hell do you think you're doing? This is a crime scene. Do you not see the glory of the scene? The artistry? What the hell is wrong? What did you require? Excuse me. Ezra, you have outdone yourself. Oh, this is your finest work. There is more emotion mm. in these days than most have had in their entire lives. So crazy robots. Have you no respect? I'm just saying that at least he had the decency to make a spectacle of it. There is nothing Please, worse than if it. I may. That's if what this I is could to just you. have your attention. You're sick. I'm sorry for shouting. But the detective has arrived and shall begin the investigation henceforth. Please return to your rooms until the detective has examined the crime scene and had a chance to come speak with you. All right. Protectrons. Have a look at the crime scene for clues. And when you're ready, we can discuss your findings. Protect and you are serve. free okay. to question the residents. But their safety is our priority. Hmm. So unless you have solid evidence, I would avoid accusations. All right. Hmm. Is this blood? It looks like the brain enclosure was smashed. Hmm. Let's see. Looks like it's... Ah. Excellent. Fence buster. W weird blue bat. A baseball hmm. bat? Huh. What's this doing here? Red paint? Red paint. Paint. Hmm. What was this guy doing before he was quote unquote killed? Well, he probably was still technically alive. His brain was in one of those things, but I wouldn't really call that living. He was probably insane by the time it all ended. Oh. This isn't blood, it's red paint. So this guy didn't die, he was made to look like he died? Uh, this probably happened a long time ago, so we're trying to recreate it, I guess? Hello again, detective. Was there anything else? Hmm. Your residents are robots. Not robots, detective. Well, not exactly, anyway. <laughs> I believe the term they use is robo-brain. Back before the war, the residents decided the best way to wait it out was to put their brains inside robotic chassis. All was right. there anything else? Let's see. That's not blood around the body. It's red paint. Mr. Santiago would definitely have red paint. But surely he wouldn't have... Would he? This is just terrible, detective. Was there right. anything else? Let's see. Found I found the murder weapon. The murder weapon. Oh, no. Really? Did I have to say it like that? That's the bat from Mr. McKinney's movie. You don't think he could be involved, do you? I can't imagine him ever doing such a thing. Was there anything else? Okay. Uh, about the Tell victim. Tell me about the victim. Mr. Ezra Parker was the primary owner and financier for the hotel. He had vast experience managing venture projects around the world. It was his idea to have our premier clients become investors in the vault section of the hotel. He worked with Vault Tech to have this built to their every specification. Was there anything And Vault Tech else? didn't do anything to this vault? I see that is hard to believe. I'm not sure where I should start. I suppose you should try to figure out how he died. And then who had the means and mo Once you have enough evidence, then I suppose you'll need... Was there anything else? Mm -hmm. eh, never, never mind. mind. I'll be here. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think I found everything around the crime scene that I can, at least for now. So, 
red paint and a baseball bat, so... I don't know, like... Protect and serve. Legendary Protectron. That doesn't look good if there's a legendary one. That makes me think they're going to turn on me. I don't like that I can't take anything. There's so much stuff here. Hello, detective. Did you need something? Need to restock on hunting or fishing supplies? I've got a few minutes to browse. I didn't mean to Let hit me that. Know. I was trying to skip. The Dapper Gent? It's actually kind of strong for a hat. Maybe later. Welcome to the Vault 118 gift shop. Forgot a personal item at home. That's on the Did case. Did you have any thoughts on the case? I'm afraid not, Detective. Perhaps you'd better speak. Mm -hmm. Looking for a gift. What have you what got? Have you got? Keepsakes, hunting equipment. Looking for a gift. Yeah. Not today. So much stuff. Want to take. Leg falling asleep and it feels like needles. Get back here. I want to talk. Seriously, this is a very nice wall vault. It's instead of all the like metal and stuff, it's like all wood. Security office. Protect Ooh. and serve. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just trying to explore all of this. What's up here? This place doesn't look like it was maintained as much as the other one. This place looks like it's falling apart. Maintenance. Looks like only the bottom half has been kept in a sort of good condition. This whole top half looks like it's been left to rot. I can't imagine why, like, I can't imagine leaving a whole part of the vault, especially one that's above you, like, that can't be a good idea. And again, these things probably aren't in the right mind. Well, 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 if it isn't the long arm of the law, tell me, are you a devotee of the arts? Does that... Uh -huh. uh, Art is life. Without it, we are no different than animals. Perhaps. If Why do I get toxic so weird? floating in a suit of flesh, or metal, I suppose, then art is the only true communion with mm -hmm. me. Okay. So far, I'm thinking it's this dude, though I doubt it's either of them. It's probably Maxwell. What does this piece say to you? Uh, I can see a face, but I'll go with it's about composition. It's about composition. The balance of colors and emotions and the struggle to maintain internal order. Indeed. This was the last piece I did in a series of portraits of Gilda. Number 1378. Her emotional landscape is superimposed on the portrait. This way. All right. You be oh, I own this one. Hey, and mine's nicer. What does this one say to you? It's the war. Bombs from every direction. No up or down. The world turned on its head. I suppose in a way it must be. <sighs> art shapes the world, and the world shapes art in return. All art must therefore be constantly reborn. Through the lens of contextual, we must ascend. Alright, what? I thought that was the only two. Oh. Oh, wait, no, he's going upstairs. How is he? How is he doing that? It's a kitten. Really? I want this one. And please be honest. For art without honesty is just politics. kind of want to go with the orange one, but I feel like he'd get angry, though, probably since it's a convincing one, like, 
Uh, I'll continue going with the harder one. It's a metaphor. A young creature grappling with ideas it doesn't possess the capability to understand. Intriguing. The mind will superimpose meaning where none was intended. I sure. should be told this is my best selling piece. I did this series under a pseudonym, of course. This series has made more money than <laughs> any of my serious works. And I did the whole thing as a lark. What does that tell you about the value of art to the common man? Huh? Uh. My fellow connoisseur of the art. Let's see. I'm not going to accuse him, but I'm going to... Did you have any thoughts about... The person you should be looking at is Juliana Riggs. That Philistine would not know art from... She and Ezra had a rather dramatic fight recently. You could hear her banshee screeches all the way across the hood. Okay. What were Juliana and Ezra arguing? I don't know. I was painting at the time and I was trying to block it out. Though I bet Gildo probably heard them. Sure. Yeah, what's he... What's his view on the red I paint? I found red paint at the crime scene. No, actually. Ezra borrowed my last can, and now I can't find it. It sounds like you've done a lot of paintings of Gilda. Our Gilda is a very singular mm -hmm. creature, detective. Right. I have never met another who clings to life so tenaciously. Who lives so in the moment. You're still in love with Gilda. So what if I am? What business is it of yours? She deserves someone who truly understands her ephemeral beauty. Uh. Maybe later. Good. I hope. Okay, so this dude's still in love with, like... What's her name? I've already forgot it, but... That would possibly give him a motive. Or something, I don't know. I doubt like he's the only one who had a motive in that, so it's one more person I need to ask questions. He seems like the obvious choice and I doubt it's the obvious choice. He seems like the crazy pen painter. Kind of reminds me f of the uh, that crazy painter dude from Bioshock. Why is the concierge? Why are they growing vegetables? They're robots. They don't need to eat unless this stuff's for their domes, in which case I don't get white corns up there. Corn has no nutritional value. There's lots of concierge. Yeah, why is the whole top part just left to fall apart? just doesn't make sense to me why we have an entire piece of the vault left to rot. What's behind this door? Come on. Ah. Ah. God dang it. There we go. Yes. So happy I invested in that no breaking lock fix thing. Huh, this is odd. We had an overseer. A human one, I would have thought it would have been another robo brain. What's all in here? Besides some caps and stuff I'm allowed to take. The past yields such interesting finds. Don't get all philosophical on me, Siri. Hmm. Mentats. Alright. So let's see what this. Let's see what Voltec was really doing here. Ooh. Something behind there. Pre war money and a battered clipboard. Yeah, I doubt Vault. The over. Like, Voltec did nothing to this vault. Yeah, let's see. Vault 118 is designed to test the social interactions between the working class and the ultra-wealthy when they're confined to conditions, working in conjuncture with staff from the Cliff's Edge Hotel. This full shell functions as a luxury hotel to attract the necessary testing subjects 
Upon beginning the test, additional subjects shall be admitted from the local population into a second, much inferior wing of the vaults. So I'm guessing the inferior section is this top section right here. So they were going to let people after in after the bombs fell? That doesn't seem like a very smart idea. It sounds like you would have gotten them killed. Now I see there's a tape. Let's see, prior to experiment, activation bolt 118 shall function as an ultra elite hotel to attract test subjects of appropriate wealth and status. This shall be operated as a clandestine area of the hotel to ensure that individuals drawn to privilege and exclusivity are present. Upon activation notice from Vault Tech, the secondary wing of the vault shall be made open to the public. It's like, oh, so this was before the vault. They'd get all the wealthy people, let them settle in. Then afterwards, they'll open up the second section. Ah. The second section, which was full of a bunch of like working class people, and just let them in, but give the working class people the worst suites. Hmm. So from the local working class population, these subjects are to be taken through the exclusive areas of the vault on entry. Thereafter, confined to the cramped. Oh, that is douchey. Once residents have been admitted, the vault is to se be sealed until test results can be determined. Oh. The subject group, not to number more than 10, shall have their every desire tended to by robotic staff to the extent that is possible. They are considered to be above all legal restrictions when interacting with test group B. Oh, that is even more douchey. This subject group should begin numbering 300 and shall be restricted to the second wing of the vault. Measures should be taken to ensure that living conditions are uncomfortable and cramped. Food and other rations are to be extremely limited. And any breach of rules are to be judged by test group A and enacted by robotic staff. Ah. Oh. Due to the potential for extreme social interactions, vault tech staff shall be restricted to the overseer and key research members, all of their security services and maintenance should be filled by robotic staff to ensure safety and test compliance. Overseer's log. This is completely unheard of. One of the subjects from testing group A is apparently a researcher for general anatomics on some sort of advanced robotics program. He and his wife have convinced the other members of Group A that, with the international situation becoming tense once again, their best chance to outlast the war is to have their brains inserted into these robots, and they're doing this voluntarily. It's absolutely insane. I've tried to convince my superiors that this will completely discount the test results, but they seem more intrigued by the idea than appalled. The door wouldn't open. We received activation notice from Vault Tech to begin the test, despite the second wing still being incomplete. However, when I attempted to trigger the recruitment protocol for Test Group B, the system, the system informed me that I had been locked out. Someone from Test Group A seems to have overridden the system to prevent admittance of the local population of the island. They've been pounding on the door for days, and there's nothing I can do. I can't think. Oh god, it's been weeks now. I realized today that I've become the test subject. Instead of testing the social interactions between locals and this group of rich assholes, it's just me trapped in here with them. They're going to live forever, and I have to deal with them for the rest of my life. I can't take it. Ah, uh, so... They did it to one of their own? Alright, let's see what this dude had to say. Come on, one... That's interesting. Uh, scroll. I have to, like, put these logs or something in, like, a chest at some point. This is getting way too long. P U V. Let's see, Vault 118. There we go. Progress on construction of the second wing of the vault is completely stalled. Once the premier area of the vault had been completed, funding seems mm. to have been cut off. My supervisors have informed me that they haven't received payment from Mr. Parga, and vault Tech won't pay out of pocket to continue construction. I've repeatedly approached Ezra about the finances, but he
but he keeps telling me that Mrs. Riggs hasn't transferred the funds. However, when I asked her, Juliana said that she had just given Ezra extra for the gold paint in the rooms. I've hired an investigator to look for signs of embezzlement in a few weeks. Sounds like Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Hmm. So far it's starting to sound like Ezra did it. Let's see. Hmm, this looks like it was a classroom that was turned into a science lab. There's no one here. Doesn't look like there's any logs or notes or anything, so I guess who's ever room this is is just wandering around. So far it's bit, it says it's ten people, but you do it, oh Mark? here they are. He deserved better than that. You think I'm stupid? I saw the way he looked at you. You gonna tell me that's nothing? It wasn't like that. We were friends. He helped me out of a tight spot or two as well. I'm all. guessing these two are acting. But now the law is on our tail. What are we Let's see. Oh, yeah. Even then, I'm just searching their rooms. And we'll make our stand here. I, I've got a gun for each of us. No, no, I'm guessing no, no, this no. is the dude's the room. Is, then we'll make our stand here. Two lovers together with a bullet for each of them. Oh, God. Why can't I ever get that line? Forget it. I can't do this. He's probably right been now. doing this for years, oh, so it is kind I'm of strange to, to think he couldn't get that well, line. Now. If it isn't the brave detective, I haven't seen someone with a body like that in far, far too long. Okay, then. I kind of want to just to see what would happen. Eh. Oh, you're not so bad yourself. You should have seen me before all this. Red hair that was the envy of every girl and legs for days, darling. I'm sure you'd rather hear some of my stories from the silver screen rather than talk about that nasty murder bit. Oh, I can do it again? I actually want to know how this ends. I must say, you're quite the actress. What can I say? It just comes naturally. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Have you ever done radio? Your voice is quite enchanting. Well, darling, play your <laughs> yeah. cards right, and maybe I'll whisper some sweet nothings in your ear. Surely you must be here for my salacious stories of the silver screen. <laughs> I must It'd be funny if she got annoyed. Young flesh and blood girls who aren't half the woman you are. Keep it up, Tiger, and we'll find out if you can handle how much woman I am. Care to hear some of my stories, detective? Oh, God. <laughs> I actually want to see what happens. Why don't we grab a bottle of wine and go watch the sunset? Mm, that sounds, sounds dangerous. Good. If it puts me back outside, I'm going to be very angry. That was great, Detective. But we probably shouldn't make a habit of this. Catch you later, Tiger. Hey there, Tiger. I kind of want to know, Your like, how that worked. Or something else. Uh, answer some questions. I had some questions to ask. Sure, darling. What did you need? Uh, let's see. Apparently, Juliana had a big argument with Ezra a few days before he died. Did you happen to overhear any of the conversation? Oh. I haven't seen a woman go off like that since Teresa Dubois fired her costume designer. But to get back to your question, it All was right. Fever Pitch, Detective. She had apparently gone to the overseer's office to check on the state of things and found it in horrible disrepair. But, and this is where it gets interesting, it sounded like she found something that really set her off. Couldn't hear what, though. Did you need oh, so it looks else? like I'm going to need to search Ezra's room or something. Did you have any thoughts about the murder? Well, it is a bit strange how obsessed Santiago has been with the murder. I mean, he's always been a bit obsessive, though. 
He did a whole series of paintings of me, hundreds. Said I was his muse. It was flattering for a while, but the man is a bit Oh, Chad. What if I go back and he tries to else? kill me? I found Keith's baseball bat at the scene of the murder. I don't know, detective. I can't really imagine Keith. Right? Did you need something else? Uh... I've gotten the impression... Look, I love Keith, I do. But sometimes he just can't give me the... It only lasted a few dozen years. The man's a bit much, even for me. Did you need something else? A few dozen years? That's... Well, they are sort of mortal, but still... What were you and Keith to... Oh, that? We were rehearsing! Gotta stay sharp before going to rebuild Hollywood. But Keith always gets flustered when he's upset. Mm -hmm. Did you need something else? Tell me about yourself. My favorite subject. Simply put, darling, I'm the greatest actress in the world. When this international scuffle blows over, I shall return to the silver screen and lead the world to a new golden age of cinema. Did you need something else? I don't think that's Never going to mind. happen. I'll be around, languishing from your... Hello, anyway, what does Keith have to say? Did you have questions about the kidnapping? Mm hmm. Yeah. Did you have any thoughts? It's obviously Santiago. He keeps going back to look at the crime. He probably wants to paint it. Weird. I found your baseball bat at the crime scene. Someone is clearly trying to frame me for the murder. It's probably Santiago. What were you and Gil? Hmm? Oh. We were just rehearsing a scene. Nothing to worry about. Oh no, that Never sounded okay. sort of like uh -huh. he was hiding something. Wish I could find, like, there was a script so I could see how much of that was real and how much of it was, like, them secretly planning something. But I've searched both the rooms, so... Doesn't look like there's anything, so I guess continue going on. Looks like some sort of museum. Why would they keep a shovel? Ooh, that's a cool hat. Ooh, pirate hat, mine. Skulls, that's always nice. What are whose skulls these are? Sweet. Still using bobby pins to open those locks? Oh. Uh. Oh. Pygmy skulls from the Bato tribe of Congo presented to Mr. Ezra. Okay. Let's see. What about this? Shall we use to break the ground? A management construction. Cool swords. Come on. It was only advanced. Why is this so difficult? That's it. Chinese officer, revolutionary sword, combat knife. This looks like military stuff. Nice. What is this? Oh, it's just some scrap. Road goggles, mechanic jumpsuit. Okay. These books, how come I can't pick them up? Right, some books. She can't do anything with, and some. Just a pocket watch and a decanter and a little, like picture frame thingy. That's it. A locket. Eh. Mine. So skulls, pirate head. Oh, that is a. Cool looking ceiling. I actually like that. Oh, this room doesn't look as well managed, and I can steal everything in here. Well, mostly everything. A key. Yes. The overseer's key. Was that to get into the office? Cause sort of already done that. Ah. Got another itch in my head. It looks like I've... I've... 
th there we go. Let's see. Where is the dude's room? See? Hello, Mr. Whiskers. Who's a pretty kitty? Juliana, yeah, Mr. Whiskers died last month. This is Cluffy. Remember? Oh, of course. Silly me. Just let me have a look at the neural interface yeah. matrix, and I'm sure I can clear that. Uh, I no. wonder what caused all no, the discord around here. They're degrading. Probably something that got in when they sent Pearl out. Oh, God. Not this again. Yes, month you were convinced you had the measles. You're not a doctor. What would you even know about it? Besides, I think it may be malaria. First of all, I am a doctor. Yes, but not a real doctor. Robotics isn't an actual medical degree. I'm guessing, like, I'm doing this the I've wrong way. I've told you time and again, you can't get sick inside the suit. It's not physically possible. I know when I'm getting sick, Bert. Now why don't you just wander off and play in your lab? Oh, so this is the dude of the lab. So he will get everything when I die because horrible Bert didn't believe me. Oh God, Juliana. Whatever. Oh, I'm going to the lab. Wait. Did you need something? Uh, let's see. Thoughts on Did the case? Did you have any thoughts about? Oh, well. That's not really my field of expertise, but I'm sure there are probably some... Oh, was there something? Right. I heard that Juliana and Ezra had an hmm. argument a few days before... He well, I was in my lab at the time, so I didn't, didn't, didn't hear it. But Juliana has always been rather critical of Mr. Parker. I think she found something in the overseer's office. Uh, I wasn't listening when she told me about it. I, I kind of had my head in my. I've been research. to the overseer's office, like know, really. aside from the I experiment, to like. All the money stuff. Oh, I don't know. Maybe she's angry that Parker didn't let people in or something. Tell me about yourself. Oh, uh, well, I'm a scientist. Uh, you've probably met. My wife, Juliana. Oh, that's the wife? I'm not sure what else to say, really. Oh, was there something else, you detective? Uh, about your research. Tell me about your research. Well, I was one of the leads on the team that created the first Robo Brains, the precursors uh, to our model. Uh, most people don't find it all that interesting, and I. Uh, uh -huh. oh, was there something? I'd like research. to hear more. Oh, wonderful. Uh, no one else here really wants to talk about it. Functionally, this model is more or less the same as the previous versions I worked on, I've, but without the neural inhibitor and the reconditioning. The voice modulator uh, seems to have some minor issues interfacing with the neural matrix, uh, which can add some moodiness. Uh, but that's easily solved with regular tune-ups. Oh, was there huh. something else, detective? Uh, voice modulator. Robobrains have a voice modulator? Uh, that's what allows us to recreate our original voices. Uh, they can mimic any. I've speculated for some time that the issues we had with our uh, uh, recruited subjects uh, is due to the brain attempting to preserve a sense of self. Mm -hmm. Maintaining our original voices helps reinforce the neural network, uh, sort of like uh, playing music for an Alzheimer patient. Oh, was there hmm. something? Interesting. I'd like to hear more. I'm afraid that's really all I should say about it. I mean, it is still classified, but I... Oh, was there something? Can I can... No, I can't. Never mind. Very These well, guys still just... think, like... Everything's like the war's still going on. Wait, what? Oh, 
god. That is a lot of cats. This woman is insane. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous murder? Did you have any... If you ask me, it's one of those actors. Or that horrible painter. There's... I heard you had a big fight with... Ed oh, well, it wasn't that big a deal, really. He wanted more money to pay for repair. I wasn't feeling well that day and lashed out a bit at the poor man. I right? That is just lying. There's evidence Ezra was embezzling from his investors. Oh, well, I really don't believe that. Mr. Parker wouldn't do such a thing, I'm sure. What's with all the... These are our things. We're just waiting till the war blows over so we can bring them back to the mansion. Never mind. Good luck catching my Door house. is over, it's but your mansion's probably been people. gone for 199 years now, probably. I don't see a cat in here. It's obvious I've had a lot of them. Hello, I wonder how. Did you have a question about the heinous Do they send one of the concierge to go find a cat? Like in the wasteland, every time one of them dies? Or is this just like a imaginary cat for her? I don't see a cat anywhere. Looks like they might have had a child at one point. wonder what happened to him or her. Guess I just continue downwards. Uh, this room's completely messed up. Bed I could sleep on. It's still someone's room. Yeah, it looks like whoever's room this was meant to be, they either died before, like the bombs fell, or I don't know. What is this? I can make a little indent. These supposed to be like showers or something? Whoa, nice. Oh, this is kind of cool. Hey there, Tiger. Here for more stories about. Uh, answer for some more questions. Tell me something. Sure, darling. Uh huh. Maybe later. I'll be around. Hmm. Hey there, Tiger. Here for more story. What would sure All right. Did you? Did you need something else? Never mind. I'll be around. Hmm. Maybe there's something in the water here. Doesn't look it. Oh, I thought there might have been something in that little corner. Wait. Uh, it was a different like shade here. This is really cool. There's a little like I don't know what's going on right there, but it's cool. Hey that looks like a kind of like a a truck or a tire track or something. That is still really cool. Okay, so that's the showers. That's their house. I don't know, like... Protect and serve. I feel like it's Juliana, but... I don't know, maybe this guy will have Hello some... again, detective. Was there anything else? I can't ask him anything more. These concierge are just useless. Uh, birds. Let's see. Protect and serve. This room. Yeah, I really feel like it's Juliana, but I want to be 100% sure before I go accusing her. 
She seems volatile. Maybe it could be... No, it would have had the option to accuse him of murder if it had been burnt because someone rewired the thing and Ezra doesn't sound like smart enough to do that like he was business smart but I doubt he was computer smart oh no what about this second wing like I assumed it was up here, but there's no, like, rooms anywhere. It's just, like, ways to get over there, like, is there a whole nother area, or? Overseer, I don't know. I'll check the overseer's office again, and then I think I'll try and accuse Juliana. I can't think of anything else, and she seems the most likely suspect. The painter, like, aside from him being in love with the, uh, that woman, like, I don't really see him doing it, really. Like, what about this? Can I drag him, or... Nothing in here. The safe was all. I wish I could move this chair. Like, I think there's a note down there. Though it's probably just part of the floor. A TV. Doesn't work. A plant that's somehow still alive. But I'm guessing it's probably plastic. I don't see anything else. I think I've found all I'm going to. So, wait, what's here? Ugh, this is just completely dirty. Okay, like, I guess I'll try accusing Juliana of the murder. Like, I don't see anything else. He's... I don't know. Protect and serve. At least can try and get at least a bit more information, like, if I'm wrong. I'll save beforehand, though, in case I am wrong. I don't want to, if this has bad, comp like, consequences, I'd prefer being able to go back. Okay, so save. I apologize. Yes. Alright. That looks like... Well, that's probably just water, but... Alright. Hello, detective. Did you have a question about the heinous... Uh-huh. I think... <laughs> that's just silly, detective. Right? Ezra was embezzling... Ezra was embezzling your money! You... Were so it's a shame. I thought I could keep the ruse going a little ah. longer. Oh, well, this doesn't have to end in more violence, detective. Just walk away. Ezra? Ezra? You're alive. Well, congratulations on catching up, detective. Yes, I've been masquerading as Julian. What's it going to be, detective? Join me in getting... Why yeah, did killer. you kill Juliana? I hadn't planned on it, but <laughs> Juliana figured out what I was doing, and I thought I could get a bit more money out of this place before making my... Well... Not a chance. Not a chance. Then... Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Make sure you don't leave anything useful behind. I'm guessing the protectrons are. Oh wait, Brain Dead Part Two. 
I defeated Ezra. I've defeated him. Why is it saying I haven't? Yeah, it's saying he's still alive. Or something. Yeah, maybe it's because his brain's still up and running. I don't know. Maybe I just have to take in the thing. It wasn't all that difficult, and I went past it. I found the killer. It was Ezra. He killed Juliana and took her place to hide his tracks. My word. I never thought Mr. Parker was capable of something like that. Mm -hmm. uh. He attacked me. There you are, detective. Payment for your services and... A bonus for uncovering such a hate. All right. It looks like I'm completed part two as well. And now it should say I complete part two as well. Yep. There we go. Oh wait, what's this door? Oh, there's a whole another area I didn't explore. At least I still got it right, but let's continue exploring. Hmm. This is a lot less nice as the other one. What the? It's just a dead end. Oh, it's got this thing in the way. I'm guessing it leads to the nicer part. Alright. It's got a bunch of that glowing moth stuff in here. Yeah, I find everything in this room. Looks like it. So I came out with 900, like, old world dollars. That's something. But this is just going the way it came. Why are there cars in here? Was this meant to be some sort of garage? Hmm. What is this exactly? It's all lit up. Looks like I can't do anything with it though. Possibly s oh, this is the main elevator. Ah, uh, this is where. That stinks. I can't pick those two things up, whatever they are. But the, I thought there was more to this area. I thought there were two ways. Yeah, where's that opening I went through? There's another thing there that I could have gone through. Where'd it go? It wasn't this, was it? No, wait. Yes, it was. Oh. 
So I guess that's all. Ah, oh, it's disappointing. Wait, what does this do? Uh-oh. Probably not good. Yeah, it didn't look like it reached the car. Alright everyone, that looks like that's all there is. Uh, I, yeah, I had a lot of fun in this fault. It wasn't exactly what I was expecting, but it was still pretty fun. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, like, I'll get, eventually get Dark Souls or Dragon Age done and I'll be able to start a brand new Fallout 4 playthrough. But until then, that's all for this. So, I'll see you next time, everyone. See ya.